how to use the stepper widget in Flutter to build a multi-step form in which the user imputes data sequentially. Let's begin by adding the stepper widget to our Flutter application. Next, we add the steps, which I have defined using a list of steps. And with that saved, we can see that we have created three steps in our Flutter application. Now, let's add some interactions. First, let's define a variable for the current step in the widget state and initialize it with zero. Still in the state of the widget, we will get two bool values. The first one to check if the current step is the step that is first and the second one to check if the current step is the last step. Now, back in the stepper widget, we can set the current step property to the value in the state. After this, we add the on step continue to set what happens when the continue button is tapped. Therefore, we first check if the current step is the last step so we can do nothing. Else, we simply want to go to the next step. Next, we add the on step cancel property in which we will return back to the previous step if the current step is not the first step. Lastly, we then add the isActive property for each step to check if the step is active. And with that saved, when we tap on the continue button, we can see that it moves to the next step until we get to the last step. And also the cancel button returns to the previous step until it gets to the first step. We can also add the onStep tab callback, which returns the value of the current active step. With this value, we can then set the current step variable defined in our state to it. Now, with that saved, we can easily tap on the steps to navigate to the step we want. Now, let's create the contents for each step in the multi-step form. Using the content property in the step widget, we can add contents, for which I have added some text form fields for the steps in our application. I have also added the needed text editing controllers for the four form fields in our state. Now, with that saved, we can see that we have created some forms in our application. In the step widget, we can also define a state to determine the styling and if the step is interactive. Therefore, for the first two steps, I have set the state to be complete if the condition is true else it will be indexed and once that is saved we can see that once the step is complete the icon changes to a checked icon else it remains as the indexed icon we can easily add custom buttons using the controls builder property which returns the callback for the on step continue and the on step cancel or in the details property therefore in the stepper widget i have also added a next button and a back button and i have set the on step continue and the on step cancel for the next and the back buttons respectively if you like you can hide the back button on the first step to do this all you have to do is to check if you are on the first step so that you can only display the next button else you can then display the back button also, you can add some custom text. In this case, I display the confirm text only on the last step and the next should be displayed otherwise. And with that saved, we can see that we have added custom buttons for our next and back even with our confirm button to our application. Finally, we can deal with submission of form data like sending to a server, saving locally or displaying another widget. To do this, simply make changes to the onStep continue property. In this case, we set the isComplete flag to true. We have defined in our state with an initial value of false. And now, using this flag, we can render a success page or widget if the form is complete. With that saved, when we click on the confirm button, we will set the isComplete state to true and that will display the success page or the success widget. And of course, when we click the reset button, we would like to clear the form. Therefore, I have added a reset button, which will reset the is complete and the current step states and also clear all the text editing controllers. And with that saved, when we click on the reset button, the whole form returns to its initial state. By default, the layout of the stepper widget is vertical. But in case you want to change the layout of the stepper widget from vertical to horizontal, you can do this by setting the type property in the stepper widget to stepper type horizontal. And with this, we can see that we have changed the layout of our stepper widget to horizontal.